Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we're checking out level 10 San Diego Free Play for LEGO Jurassic World. And yes, this will wrap up the second movie, and we will be halfway through the free play once we complete this one. And uh, the only requirement we really uh, have here is that you complete the story mode, so you have all the available characters. We are going to get all 10 of the mini kits. We are going to get those two gold bricks that we missed, and the amber brick as well. And uh, as you can see, we already have the true survivor because the end credits from our story actually counted towards this. So those true survivors we were getting in the end credits, they were counting towards the last level that you played. So interesting, huh? All right, right as we get started, switch to a character with the screaming ability and head on over to the right-hand side to the little security shack here. Scream that door till it hits the floor. And uh, yeah, grab the mini kit and we can keep on keeping on. Now, there are a, a group of three guys scattered throughout this that need to be rescued. Two of them are actually part of the storyline here. You can see we're grabbing the first one now, and you cannot advance without actually saving this guy. And uh, you can see one of three pops up, and he gives us a couple of build bricks. And uh, I have horrible jumping aim, so I get wet a few times here. Ready? One, two, three times maybe? Nope, we're actually going to make it this time. All right, so uh, continue across these poles, and uh, basically you need to make your way over to where the crane is. You can see the second guy that's kind of trapped there on the left. We're going to save him in just a second, but in order to do so, we have to break the white box just to the left of the crane. That'll give us the crank handle needed to go ahead and spin to win. Once we uh, get this crank all the way over, it'll actually drop that big box or pallet and uh, reveal a whole bunch of build bricks. We can then build those up into a little makeshift bridge to get from the dock over to the actual boat. And we're going to go ahead and follow that over there and actually use a character with the uh, uh, torch ability or the night vision, whatever, whichever one you prefer. And we just wanted to take a peek at that guy over there. I, I, I was totally convinced that that was the third guy we needed to save before we actually got to the third guy, but turns out it wasn't. So yeah, here we are. We're switching to a character with the ability to go into the dark. And we used Ian because he's got that nice handy flare. And then up top we got the big crane. This is the one that we're actually going to save the other character down below with. In order to do so, you have to smash the other box. It, I believe it's like a tan or a white box right to the left of the crane. Go ahead and smash it and build up the pieces into another ladder, which will give us access into the crane itself. And you actually have to pull the stick closer to you, and it'll move the big crane around, grab that big blue box, and free the second of three workers scattered throughout here that are in peril. Doesn't really count for, like, a, you know, dino in peril or anything like that, or a worker in peril, because I guess we have those in the free room as well, but doesn't count for that. And, oh, my gosh, look at all them sausages. It's a sausage fest down there. And uh, we'll go ahead and make our way down to the sausage fest. And maybe have ourselves a brat west to level down that. No, I'm just kidding. It's not like it's Oktoberfest or something. Basically, we got to make our way across the water. Now that there's this shipping container there, we can actually hop onto it and make our way over here. And right off the bat, we get attacked by a couple of dock workers here. They're like, hey, man, you're not supposed to be here. Once you take them all out, it actually gives us a agility ability circle there. But we're going to bypass that. We're also going to bypass the lock that has that mini kit in the cage there. We're going to hop towards the screen and out on these poles and all the way out across the three handhelds. And then we're going to find it kind of hard to get down. I'm not sure if that's user error or what, but uh, definitely a little bit more difficult to hop off or climb down from handhelds and, uh, you know, up high items. And, and this is weird. I don't know what's going on here. This last couple of levels, I've been having troubles with my secondary character not keeping up with me. Now, I knew I needed a, a, an agility ability. And last time I played with this other character, I was Lex, was I not? But the one I switch back, I'm now Zara. That's kind of bizarre. And uh, but regardless, we switch on over to Nick because he's got that crowbar. We can go ahead and spam that button until the cage rips open, giving us access to that mini kit. We can then switch to Zara and uh, get up there and cha 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 cha. The guys up top. We had to actually jump up and pull that lever down if you missed that. And over on the left hand side, there are a bunch of build it bricks that will be found after you smash everything. Gives us a nice little uh, ledge to get up top. 
And this time we're actually going to bypass the first Swakel and go to the second one. We're going to use old Dr. Hammond or Mr. Hammond, John Hammond, whichever one you prefer. And we're going to punch in the code correctly, which opens up the door to the back access here. We are immediately greeted by a bunch of little ankle biters. And we'll go ahead and give them the old cha-cha-cha. And uh, basically, we uh, make our way all the way over to the back left corner of this area. And we find ourselves a shock panel. Now, I want to admit a mistake I make right here. I actually shoot the shock panel and immediately get anxious to go ahead and switch on over to Joffrey and charge this panel over here. But I didn't even grab the other mini kit yet. So there's actually two mini kits right here that are back to back. One, you use the shock gun and charge the panel on the left. And the second one is to use the shock uh, prong or prod, cattle prod, whatever you want to call it, and go ahead and shock the panel on the right. So there's number four. And there's number five. So woo to the who. Sorry for that confusing uh, little moment there, but uh, hopefully you can forgive me. All right, next we're going to see that there is a little doggy door over here in the corner. We're going to switch on over to gray and make our way on through. It actually takes us up top, and we find right off the bat a little bit of a horn or some sort of a speaker maybe that's needing some repair. So we're going to switch on over to Eddie Carr and bang that uh, wrench into place. And, oh, look at that. It is a horn or a, a speaker of some sort, and it spit out the glorious sounds of a mini kit. So we'll go ahead and build those bricks up and collect the mini kit. Thank you very much. Now you can use the old mini door to go back down, or you can fall off the edge here on the side. Then go ahead and use the old the wheel. Big money, big money, no whammies. Oh, got inside. Now we got a couple of guys chasing us, and we're going to have to switch on over to somebody smart like me. No, I'm just kidding, like Ian. And approach the board here on the wall and go ahead and follow the pattern indicated. Beep, boop, ba, boop, beep, boop, boop. All right, we got it. A couple of bricks drop out of the secret compartment on the wall there. We're going to build those up into a nice double-geared lock system that opens the door for us. And uh, then we're going to make our way down. And actually, you probably remember this from the story. There's a box with a bunch of build-it bricks that actually make an agility, ability, um, I don't even know what we call it. Tumble spot, crawl spot, rollover spot, high, I don't know, something. We're going to go ahead and jump over it, though, do the old tuck and roll. And... Uh, this must be what you get to after you graduate the old hood slides, you know? What are you doing here? Anyways, uh, all right, so we're going to go ahead and smash the rest of the guys over here. And cha 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 cha. And if you notice, a couple guys come out of that dark container in the back, and there might be something glowing in there. And spoiler alert, there is. We're going to go ahead and switch to a character that has the ability to go into dark areas. And we're going to grab that and the brick. That's pretty awesome, huh? All right, see the studs on the other side? That's actually from the very beginning when we started off. It totally freaked me out. I'm like, how do I get that blue stud? I got to get them all. But couldn't figure it out, but then it hit me. Oh, wait a minute. That's out at the beginning because if you remember, we flip around the boat. But, uh, yeah, before building that stuff up and going up to the guy with the big button there, make sure you jump towards your screen and drop down onto the dock again. And this time we're going to go and save that third worker that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. He happens to be under a truck. It's kind of weird. He looks like he's standing under it, but really he's trapped. So we're going to go pull him out and grab that mini kit for doing so. And then look, he's trapped on that board that we didn't bust on the ground. So he's trapped again. Unfortunately, you don't get credit for helping him a second time. But we're going to make our way down and back over towards where we started here. And there is a spot that you can uh, jump up with ease. We're going to get to that in just a second here. I fell a little short there, but oh, then I switched characters. I'm like, nope, he's nowhere near me. But keep that in mind because I actually have to uh, switch characters in a minute to use the old buddy boost right here. But my character's way back there up top. So I went ahead and edited that out because it was a long journey back. And oh, yeah. So here we are in the chase scene. We're going to go ahead and switch immediately to the character in the back and start hitting that square or X button, depending on which console you're on. And make sure that you're shooting the chicken breasts. Or I guess it's chicken legs? Yeah, chicken legs, chicken drums, drumsticks. And uh, your goal is to get three into T-Rex's mouth. Once you get all three, it will reward you with a mini kit. And then here in a second, an oil tanker crashes into T-Rex, and the camera angle switches. Immediately press right and hold right, because you're going to want to crash through this glass panel that those guys are carrying, which gives you a mini kit. And continue to stay right, because then there's another car jump, which gives you the tenth and final mini kit. Woo-wee! I need to catch my breath here. We're going so stinking fast. That was bingo, bango, bongo, baby. 
And now it's just a home stretch driving all the way out. If you're uh, only here for the collectibles, you can actually hit the old start button and uh, go ahead and save and exit back to the main menu. It'll actually show you the final totals, just like you're about to see with us here in a second and everything. But if you're like us, we're going to finish it and get a couple of studs. Plus, we love this speed reference right here. We're pretty sure what that is. That, that's what this is from. You know, remember the movie Speed, Counter Reeves and all that? This is kind of like a combo, so... Pretty cool stuff. Anyways, we get all the way to the end. One more car jump gets us a handful of studs, and uh, we come pulling in to the old dock warehouse, and booyah ka -show. All right, all right, all right. San Diego free play complete. And as you can see there, we also completed the Lost World story as well, which is basically the uh, second movie there. We got a handful of studs, and uh, although we got more than enough, I believe, for the true survivor in this run, we actually got credit for that in the ending credits after the level 10 story version of this so kind of weird how those credit scenes are attached to this but nonetheless we got that true survivor we also got all 10 mini kits as you can see it's a rain and blue studs and we also got the brachiosaurus amber brick which was hidden in that shipping container that was in z dark back there and we also got a mini kit see we should have gotten two and if you didn't get the true survivor at the ending credits, you would have gotten the true survivor gold brick right there, too. But that explains why my gold bricks didn't add up after I got done with all the story stuff. I was like, what? How is that even? Hmm. But we got it all figured out. But hey, hopefully you guys found this video in particular very helpful and maybe a little bit entertaining along the way. We uh, would love to hear what you have to say. And you can give us your feedback over at Facebook, Twitter. You can, of course, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is the home of our trophy achievement guides and where you can find our Lego Jurassic World Trophy Achievement Guide. we got got lots, lots of other guides over there, too, so check it, check it out. Dougie puts hard work into writing those guides, and uh, I use them, actually, to create most of my videos, so uh, they're proven to work. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so as for me, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. As always, until next time. Did you know that an ancient Bryanese, Santiago, means, well, it's loosely translated into... Fire!